Okay, so part five of my forum series. Um, we've made some updates and everything, and we're going to continue on, I guess. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this code right here that we pretty much typed out in the last video, and we're going to put it down here after we have... Um, uh, actually, where, where is this supposed to go? Uh, yeah, it's before all of this information, including our image. It's going to be before all of this. We're going to paste it in here. And I'm going to scoot it over. I'm going to save. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to upload this file now. So if we refresh, you can see we now have topics, posts, and last poster. But everything is uh, a little bit offline, I guess the word is. Um, uh, yeah, so... To help see where everything should be aligned, after we set our width values, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a border tack left, and this, see, the reason why I said we're going to apply um, all of these styles into a class to make it easier to read the code and everything, and we're going to get to that pretty soon. So I'm going to apply a one pixel border. On the left side, it's going to be a solid, and it's just going to be black for now, just to make it so we can see it, and we'll probably change the color later. So I'm going to put it on all of these, and I'm going to upload the form file. <coughs> so if we refresh, you can see we now have our lines being there, and everything's kind of pushed over a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do is our last poster information you can see it's definitely got the most space and we're never going to have that much space um, we're never going to need that much space there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the width on that so our width is 225 uh, let's go with 200 that should suffice or at least come pretty close <clears throat> so uh, dropping that down to 200 is a little bit too much because you see these lines are aligned with the text for the most part and we don't want that. We want them. We want the text aligned with each with themselves. So we're going to add in a little bit more spacing in there. Um, so let's go to ten. So if we refresh, so it's almost aligned. Maybe a little bit more. Actually, I think that's perfectly aligned. Yeah, that's good. So we have our text aligned now. Um, so yeah, um, now what we're going to do is to prove that the, it will uh, always be aligned if we change the text, I'm just going to type in a zero there, and I don't know, just a bigger number there. Um, so if we upload that, so you can see that everything is still aligned and, and whatnot, making it look real nice. Uh, so, coughed. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to make it so this line is going to extend all the way down. Um, and to do that, we're going to apply top and bottom padding on our topics and our posts. The reason we're not going to do it on our last poster uh, information is because this is going to be two separate lines. Because we're going to have probably username and maybe like um, a link to the post. And then it's going to say on and then the date that they posted on. So it's going to be two different lines. That's why we don't need to add padding there. So if we come in here, let's just put it right here. Padding, tack top. And let's go with 10 pixels. Padding, tack bottom. Let's also go with 10 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this. Paste it down here. And upload Okay, so we now have our text in here, um, everything's being aligned real nicely, um, and I think that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that works. Um, so everything's pushed down. We also need to add in, um, we need to make this line extend down. So what we're going to do is our last poster, I'm going to make it two separate lines, and that should um, align everything properly. If not, we'll apply a little bit of padding. So yeah, that aligns everything just perfectly. 
So our text is going to be on two lines. Everything's being displayed, and it, it all looks nice and everything. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be our, our style for all of that information. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get the information from the database on um, all this and then make it so it'll display all that. Uh, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the styling for these first two, and since they're exactly the same, we can just take out all of this, move the style. We're going to apply a class of, uh, I don't know, we'll name it later. But we're going to go to our CSS file where we have our form styles. I'm actually going to... Styles. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our code. We're just gonna paste it in. Get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. Um, and we're gonna take our category right there because this is gonna be inside of the category, but we don't want it inside of everything, anything else. So this is gonna be our class. Um, so I'm gonna put everything here on new lines. and then just indent it. Okay, so we need to name our class, and let's name it, um, I don't know, let's just go with Topics. So we'll just name it Topics for now. Um, so yeah, so we have that. We need to now upload our CSS file and make the changes inside of this. So just we're just gonna remove all of the styling because they're exactly the same. And that makes it so it takes up a lot less space. So class equals, and it was topics. Okay, so after uploading those, if we refresh, we, sh we just see no visible change, and that means everything's working. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to get all of our information and display it. So we're going to change these uh, numbers to variables. And it's going to be cats underscore topics. And then this will be cats underscore posts. Whoops. Okay. So now we need to get all that information from the database. So we need cat underscore topics. And posts. Now, if we go back to our database, click structure, so it is total topics and total posts with an underscore in it, so total underscore topics, total underscore posts, so we can just now upload that, and if we refresh the page, we have one and one, because those are the values in the database that we have, so obviously all that's working. Um, <clears throat> now, what we need to do now is we need to get the information um, out of the database for the last user to post and the last date the user posted on. So, we're going to remove the style from this one as well and put it in a class. Class equals, I don't know, we have poster. So, class equals poster, and we have our end div. So, in our CSS. Okay, so what we need to do is we can just duplicate that and change this topics to poster and then just add all this in. And just indent this to make it look better. Okay, so we have our class now. Um, so what we need to do now is uh, we need to upload our form in our CSS file. Okay, so after we upload, if we refresh the page, we should see no visible change, and that means that everything is working. So we need to get the last user and the last date out of the database. So we will change this to dollar sign last underscore user, or no, we'll do cat underscore last user, and then we will have a break, so a line break, 
And then we will have cats underscore, uh, what was it, last date. So after we have those, we need to get those values out of the database now. So we have cat underscore last user and cat underscore last date. So this needs to be last underscore user and oops, last underscore date. So if we upload, <coughs> yeah, that's taking a little bit. There we go. So if we upload, we see we now have basic Nick and December 21st, 2010. Now, if you want, you may want to add time to that. So actually, meh, maybe. Um, but I'm going to say on space, and I'm going to change this to by, so it'll say by username on date. So upload. <clears throat> so just minor changes there. So we have um, by basic Nick. Now, what we want to do is when we show their username, we want that to link off to their profile. So to do that, we actually need to edit our database. So let's um, we need a structure. Add after. No, we add after. Whoops. Add after description. Click go. Last underscore user ID. This will be a big int, and we can click save. <clears throat> and the reason we're doing that is because how our profiles are set up, it's profile question mark ID equals, and then the user's ID. So we have to be able to get that user ID value. Uh, so we'll just add it to the database. And then we need to add it into the database itself. So we'll change that to one because that's my user ID. Um, then after we do that, after uh, we need to get it out of the database. So last underscore user ID, and this will be last user ID. <clears throat> so now what we need to do is we need to make it so the username, when it's displayed, it links off to their profile. So we're going to say, we're going to add in our anchor tags. So a href equals, and this will be site slash profile uh, question mark ID equals, and this will be cat underscore last user ID. Make sure I spelled that right, yep. And I'm also going to add a target equal to underscore blank. And adding a target um, attribute to an anchor tag, and especially the underscore blank target value, um, essentially that's what that means is open in a new tab. So when we click on it, it'll just open in a new tab. So if we upload and we refresh, you can see basic Nick, the text itself is now... Um, <coughs> sorry, is now um, a link, so if we click it, it opens in a new tab and loads the profile. So everything's working and, every and whatnot. Um, now the next thing we want to do is we want to make it so we can link off to the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, to the topic, there we go. We want to be able to link off to the topic, but we're not going to get to that now because we haven't created the topic page. So obviously it's not going to do very much. Um, but what we do want to do before we end this video, since we've gotten the link going to the profile page, we need to make our link active to make it so we can view all of the topics within a category now. So we need to make our announcements link, so the title of the category itself. We're also going to make the image for the category. We're also going to make that a link. And we'll probably leave the text, the description text, not a link, though. So we need to make announcements and our image a link. So to do this, if we scroll down, we have our cat name value. So we have end a and anchor tag href equals. And I'm actually going to make this a, a variable, so link. So it's just going to be dollar sign link. So the reason I'm doing that is to make it so um, we can easily add in, add it to here too, uh, without having to type all that out. So dollar sign link. We also need to end our anchor tag over here. Okay, so we need to create our link variable now. And we're going to create it up here. <coughs> so we're going to say dollar sign link equals, and this is going to be our link. So it's going to be site slash, and we'll say view cat. Yeah, that works. View cat ID equals, um, equals, and this will be our cat ID value kind of self-explanatory. So we've applied those. We need to upload our file now. 
and if we refresh, it's now a link. So it says cats uh, view cat ID equals nothing. So there's a problem. Oh, we haven't got our cat ID. So we need to get our cat ID out of the database. So change that to ID and this to cat ID. And then we can go ahead and upload. So if we just refresh, we now have some loads. There we go. So view cat ID equals one and ID equals one. So our links are working. Um, now the only thing that we, like if we click it, we just get a 404 error because we haven't created the view cat page itself. So we pretty much have our our form index completely done for now. Um, since everything's database driven, eventually we will add in the ability for admins and possibly moderators to be able to um, um, be able to add new categories and things and in forums like general or web development. Um, so yeah. So this is going to be the end of this video. Um, in the next video, uh, we will begin working on the category page itself to so the view cat page itself. So check out the next videos when they're uploaded.